Being an imposter is great. You get to murder your friends, stab them in the back, and blame it on someone else. But what about when you're a crewmate, getting those tasks like wires, Simon says, things that can get you killed so easily if you're not around someone safe? What are the probabilities of getting perfect, Simon says, perfect wires? In this video, we're going to take a look at the probability of getting those perfect tasks. What would a perfect Simon Says look like? Well, in an ideal situation, every single button would be in the center. So how many sequences have just every button being in the center? Well, it's just one sequence. Center, 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 center. There's a total of one. Now, how many sequences are there in total? Well, for each number or each button in the sequence, there are nine different possibilities. So there's nine choices for the first one, nine choices for the second, nine choices for the third, nine choices for the fourth, and nine choices for the fifth, giving us a grand total of 59,049 different possibilities. Which means that the probability of having every single button in the center for a Simon Says sequence is 1 over 59,049. Which means that on average, you will see a Simon Says with all the buttons in the center once every 59,049 attempts, giving you a whopping 0.00139% chance of that happening. In other words, it's pretty much never going to happen. But what if we don't care if it's in the center? What if we just want five buttons in a row? Well, then there's nine different possibilities for that which means that we have a grand total of 9 over 59,049 different possibilities. This means that roughly 1 in every 6,561 attempts at Simon Says you will get all 5 buttons in a row regardless of their position. And this is roughly a whopping 0.01524% chance of that happening. So my advice to you is when you're doing Simon Says and Specimen and the Polis map, Make sure you bring a friend who you know is safe. What would perfect wires look like? Well, perfect wires are beautiful because they would connect from left to right all in a straight line in every single case. This only happens when you have the colors on the left matching the colors on the right. So in this case, we would need to have blue, pink, red, and yellow in that order. So there's one possibility where we get the sequence that we want. The next question is how many sequences are there total? Well, if there's four colors to choose from, and we can only use each color once, this means there's four colors for the top position, three colors for the next one, two colors for the third one, and only one color choice for the last one. In total, this means that there's only four times three times two times one different possibilities for wire orderings. This means that the probability of getting perfect wires is 1 in 24 which is the same thing as saying you have a 4.17% chance of this happening, which is much more likely than a perfect Simon Says. But for some reason, even though you do three of these each time you get it, it really doesn't seem like it's 1 in 24. What about the doors? These are really easy, but in a perfect world, all of the switches would be on one side, so we just have to drag our mouse or our fingers down the screen and flick them all off. So in a perfect world, they would all be on the left or all be on the right, giving us a total of two different easy possibilities. Now, how many different combinations of switches are there for eight with four of them flicked to the right? Well, we can use the combination operator for this. So there are eight total switches and we need four of them flicked to the right. In mathematics, we call this eight choose four. So this is represented with factorials. We could write this as eight factorial over 4 factorial times 4 factorial, and a factorial is just a number multiplied by the next number down all the way down to 1. So the top would be 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, and the bottom would be 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. What this boils down to, essentially, is a whopping 70 different combinations for how the switches can be flicked to the right and to the left. This means that the probability of you getting all the switches on the left or on the right should theoretically be 2 over 70, which is the same thing as 1 over 35. And this is approximately a 2.86% chance of this happening, so even less than perfect wires.
Now, I don't know about you, but I've never seen all the switches on one side or the other in this game. I didn't take into account how the programmers might have programmed this specific minigame, so there's a good chance that the actual probability of that happening is less than 2.86%. This has been Probability in Among Us. I hope you don't get stabbed.